He's the charming medico who's ready for anything Summer Bay throws at him. But recently, Home and Away's Dr Nate Cooper, played by Kyle Pryor, has seen his life pulled apart. So what's next for the man who just can't seem to catch a break? He's the small town doctor with a daily fight on his hands. Right now he's stable, he's with a paramedic. Since marrying school principal Sophie Taylor, Nate's life has been a whirlwind of drama. Just because we have a history doesn't mean we have a future. You got all that from a takeaway coffee. I'm new here. Engaging in a love triangle with Hannah has seen their relationship go from bad to worse, leading to Summer Bay's shocking bus crash. It was her fault, right? I never meant for this to happen. Nate has since faced the challenge of being torn between his wife and his community. And Carl Pryor joins us now live in the studio. Great to see you. Good to see you too. Thanks for having me. Well, I'm just exhausted thinking about uh, your life. So am I. Good <laughs> doctor. Poor Nate, honestly. <laughs> What's he ever done to deserve this? Exactly, yeah. Now, you, you have a really interesting story because you, you, you grew up in the UK and then you arrived yep. here with just a suitcase. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I was in New Zealand actually in Auckland before arriving in Australia and yeah, arrived with my suitcase and started auditioning, walking everywhere. And uh, yeah, luckily got Home and Away. Did you quickly. watch Home and Away when you were in the UK? I did, yeah. Mostly when I was a kid. You know, I grew up with it. You know, the likes of Alf and um, you know Leah and, and those those guys. So watching them and then actually being on the show is is a privilege and, and quite surreal sometimes. It's been such a huge week on the show. Sophie has now left Summer Bay. She has, yeah. Do you think some of the residents will be like, oh, oh that's a relief? Definitely. I think everyone's probably happy to see her go for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, you know, it's been exciting having her in the bay. That's for sure. So it's um, you know. Given, given me some great storylines to work with, but definitely I think the characters in the Bay are. But that's your wife, happy right? So does that go. mean now you're back with that love triangle with the other lady from the. Uh, well, we'd have, we'd have to we'd have to wait and see on that oh. one, but uh, there, there's a potential new love interest coming up. We'll, you know, but we'll have to wait and see on that one. But um, I can't give too much away. Ooh, mm. interesting. Uh, now you are interestingly that the first Brit to ever be cast on Home and Away, which I think is interesting because of how big Home and Away is Definitely. in the UK. Mm. Uh, tell us about that first audition. So you rocked up to, to Palm Beach walking. Yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I went to my audition and uh, I actually didn't have any nerves. I, I wasn't really nervous at all. I felt like it was the right role at the right time. And I actually initially auditioned for Andy Barrett, his character, and thought that maybe it wasn't right. So they brought me back for Nate and uh, then I had another recall after that and that, that was the one that, you know, sealed the deal. So, yeah. Can you do Aussie, an Aussie yeah. accent, Kyle? Ah, uh, mate, Aussie accent, I don't know. No, I'm not so sure about the Aussie accent. Give it a crack. <laughs> Give it a crack. No, that was, him on. That, was me, that was me doing the accent. That wasn't South sure African. That was That's not South African. Anyway, you're not happy with the accent I rolled in with. Also, that's not too bad, is it? That's all right. Maybe it needs a little work. I don't know. Uh, we've got a couple of questions from some fans. This first one comes from Lindsay Doran. She wants to know, what would you be doing now if you weren't on Home and Away? I'd probably be pulling pints in a pub in London. To be honest, actually, that was my, my plan was to go back home, and uh, you know that was luckily, obviously, when I, I scored the role, so that didn't eventuate. But that's probably what I'd be doing. I reckon I, you I could also be in an Oasis cover band. You look like a tribute you band. Know you never yeah, know. Sure. Yeah. Hey, uh, buddy, this one comes from Lisa Duffy. She asks, "What is the best bit of medical knowledge you picked up playing the character?" You know what? It's it's probably the basic stuff, actually, the CPR, compressions, that sort of thing, and, and probably the most usable thing. You know, I think like the drilling into Bianca's skull and that sort of stuff is probably not the most usable medical stuff I've learnt. Uh, if if the, I don't know, if it depends on the parties one. you go to. Ju yeah. Judging by some of the girls in the office who have rushed down here, they might yeah. faint soon. So <laughs> yeah. we better get uh, you off. I could and probably and they really want their happens. skulls drilled into. <laughs> yeah, well, no one really wants that exactly. So we'll try and try and steer away from that one. Great to meet you. <laughs> hey, good to meet you. Thanks for having me. Cheers.